Welcome to clickmyproject.com. Now let me see about scalable face image retrieval using attribute enhanced as pass code words. Now let's see about the abstract. Here we propose a method for the face image retrieval. Initially we provide the query image and then we deduct the face from the query image. After face deduction we separate the face image as the batches. For each batches here we extract the LBP feature. LBP represents the local binary pattern. The LBP operator assigned, assigned a label to every pixel of a gray level image. The label mapping to a pixel is affected by the relationship between the pixel and its 8 neighbors of the pixels. Then we generate the sparse code words to separate the batches. Then we um, embed these sparse codes as a features. Finally, we compute the weighted matching between the query image and database image. The similar image will be retrieved from the dataset. Here, the item is encoded by the strong activation of relatively small set of neurons for each item to be encoded. This is a different sub subset. Active shape model is a, a statistical model of the shapes of objects which iteratively deform to fit to an example of the object in a new image. This is the flow of our process. Here we are having two stages. First one is the training stage and second one is the testing stage. In training stage, we have to give the whole image, whole database image to the process. Uh, so initially, the whole database image is passed to the pre-processing step. In this step, here we are removing the noise so that initially we convert the image as a gray and then we filter the noise from the image. In filtering, we are applying Gaussian filter to our input image. Gaussian filtering is often used to remove the noise from the image and then after filtering the noise it will go to the face deduction step. In face deduction active shape model are used. It is a statistical model of the shape of object which iteratively deform to fit to an example of the object in a new image. The shapes are constrained by the point distribution model the statistical shape model to vary only in the ways of seeing in the training step. After that it will go to the batch separation here we are separating the image as a batches. After that it will go to the sparse code generation. It is the item encoded by the strong activation of relatively small set of neurons for each time to be encoded this is a different subset. Given a potentially large set of input patterns, sparse coding algorithm attempt to automatically find a small number of representative patterns from the images. After that it will go to the feature vector. In this step, here identifying the LBP pattern of the images, LBP represents the local binary pattern. The LBP operator assigned to a label to each, each and every gray level image. The label mapping to pixels is affected by the relationship between the pixels and its 8 neighbors of the pixels. If we set to gray image as a 1, after that, after extracting feature vector, it will go to the weighted matching. In weighted matching, here we are giving the testing images. So for that testing images also, we are taking pre-processing step, batch separation, sparse code generation and feature values also pass to the weighted matching step. So uh, in weighted matching, here we are finding the similarity between the database images versus the testing images. After finding the similarity, it will go to the retrieval process. The similar images from the database are retrieved. Let's see the demo of our process. Here I am having face main.m file. Select this file, right click and run the file. So this is our guide design. So initially we have to train our database so that Here I am having dataset folder. Select this folder.
the whole database images are readed and then and it it uh, features are loaded that is displayed in this first uh, table after that we have to given the input image in query image i am having five sample images based on the data set now i am giving one image this is the input image it will pass to the second step in pre processing here we are having nice removal step so this is the result initially we are converting a image as gray and then the noise is removed from the images and then it will go to the face detection step for detecting the face here we are using asm that is active shape model asm will identify the face from the images this is the detected face this face will pass to the feature extraction so this is the pass code values of the input after that we are identifying the lbp feature this is the lbp batch separation technique this is the lbp image of the input image Uh, from the result we are identifying the histogram calculation this is the result of lbb images this uh, histogram values is taken as a feature these are the retrieved images from the data set based on our input image in analysis we are calculating the time measurement this is the time complexity of our process and then this is the performance between the existing and our proposed system now i am showing the result of uh, phase image retrieval based on the attribute enhanced scoring so it retrieve the images based on the attribute uh, the result is better than the existing system thank you